My name is Natasha Hai. I'm a first year PhD student at Institut Polytechnique de Paris and I hold a master's degree in physics of complex systems. The course of Jean-Philippe Bouchot from physics to social sciences inspired me greatly. There, I realized the unifying nature of physics and its applications in the field of quantitative finance. What unites us in our lab is the passion to work interdisciplinary. I am studying cross-market impact, which analyzes price changes across different assets. To understand better the idea, let me first introduce to you the concept of market impact by considering the order book of an asset such as milk. Each point here represents an agent who wants to trade the product. All agents have individual price expectations or reservation prices, which are influenced by public news and their own beliefs. The agents can cancel or deposit an order and change the reservation price. Let's think now about some big institutional investor who wants to buy thousands of liters of milk. Instead of matching all available sell orders in the order book at once, the meta order is split in many child orders which are placed over some time. The resulting price change is a measure of the impact. The main question is now, how does trading milk impact other products? For instance, Parmesan is a milk product and its price strongly depends on the price of milk. If the milk price increases, the production cost of Parmesan increases too. Therefore, all agents willing to trade Parmesan need to adjust their reservation price accordingly. But even for other products, the price might be changing too. Take agents who would like to prepare a delicious risotto. They don't need milk, but rather Parmesan for the preparation. The price change of milk, however, will certainly influence the price they are able to pay for the risotto rice because they only have a fixed budget for all ingredients necessary to cook a risotto. As we see prices changes in financial markets are complex stochastic processes, which I am researching with empirical analysis and agent-based modeling in the context of my PhD.